One evening, Oslo the duck and Plum the cat were fast asleep, dreaming sweet dreams, when a mighty electrical storm began to sizzle and fizzle, outside and inside their window. However, it was not a storm at all, but the teleporting beam of a spaceship disguised as a large black rock candy, which swooped them up out of peaceful dreams and into its belly. From the window of the ship on a strange new world, they spotted a giant mountain made of melting ice cream, and soon discovered that the Black Rock Candy spaceship was beaming them forward into a cave inside the dripping ice cream mountain. Once inside the cave, Plum took off running, trying to catch a lime snake, and Oslo ran too, following her the best he could through the twisty, turny cave, its stalagmites and tights dripping with hot ice cream. He tried not to slip, Somehow, in all the craziness, Oslo lost Plum. He found himself now in a strange forest made of melting seaweed and grapes. It was very hot on this new planet, and everything was withering and sweating in the heat. It smelled like hot fish. Oslo searched low and high through seaweed forests and bubblegum flowers, up and down rock candy mountains for hours and hours, hoping to find his dear friend Plum. He even tried asking the help of some of the beautiful neon bow creatures he saw standing around, but they remained silent and motionless as a stone. Then, at last, he accidentally stumbled through a hole in the rock and came upon the hiding place of the leader of this strange hot world, who was so cold that his head was an ice cube. He had been turning the heat up on this crazy planet so high, and to keep extra warm, he made a coat out of live kittens. And there, in his squirming, meowing kitten coat, was Plum, who was so happy to see Oslo she broke loose, knocking a magic rock candy out of the leader's hand, releasing the kittens from its magic spell. At last, all the kittens were free. Being a nice guy, Oslo wrapped a scarf around the leader's ice cube head so that he would still stay warm. Then Oslo picked up the magical rock candy and used it to unify the kittens into a hovering ball of love, like a kitten magic carpet, so that they could all fly home. Oslo was glad to be back home, safe and sound with his beloved Plum. He knew how great it felt to have a friend like Plum, and wanted to help other people find good friends. So they all sat together out in front of their favorite pet store and waited, till each and every kitten had found a loving good new home.